ignorance is not a demon that means everybody has a chance to as quick as your passion can afford you get out of a realm of ignorance you must take responsibility and say in the name of Jesus I am tired of wallowing around this ignorance you came from a family where no one has risen no glory no beauty I can tell you for as long as you keep blaming people and hoping like we say in Nigeria one day go better that is just a um, uh, is a wise saying that does not have any biblical basis it will not work time does not change things time only reveals ignorance is not a demon the day you begin to take responsibility over your life and over your destiny obtaining grace and assistance from the spirit and you go through the labor of contending for light you are now subscribing for your exit out of your realm of shame out of your realm of mediocrity out of the realm where nothing seems to be working behind everything that works is light light is the battery that powers everything that works behind every great business is an information that the owner of that business knows behind every great ministry I tell you sincerely there are secrets men rise and they stand upon the abundance of the secrets the mysteries and the principles that they have found there are laws that govern the anointing there are laws that govern leadership there are laws that govern influence there are laws that govern abundance there are laws that govern relationships there are laws that govern restoration. Are we together? There are laws that govern longevity. It is your assignment under God to find these laws by the Spirit. Can I tell you, and I say this with every sense of humility, happy are you when God plants you under a man of God who by sacrifice has distilled these laws and brings it cheaply for you. That is a real, he has brought um, he has subsidized the price that you have to pay this is the blessing you get when you come to the house of God that people have paid the price by the spirit and through the sacrifice of alignment the labor of mentorship the sacrifice of adaptation to get these truths together distill them and to communicate them with grace lessons from an overcomer there is no overcomer who sits on the throne of glory in ignorance. There is a realm where ignorance is not permitted. The gate will not open. Did you hear what I said? There is a realm where ignorance is not permitted. Even the worst of men in that realm is still sufficiently ignorant or sufficiently knowledgeable. There is a realm where ignorance cannot pass beyond. It is up to you to make up your mind right now, listening to me here and across the globe, whether you are ready to remain. Did you know that regardless the prophetic word that comes year after year, regardless what resolutions you make year after year, in ignorance, your lot is already defined. In ignorance, I don't need to be a prophet to reveal what your tomorrow will be. Just show me the abundance of ignorance you have decided to keep. And with the precision of an artist, I can paint your tomorrow. Not by word of knowledge. There are many people who their 10 years will look like today. In fact, worse than today. It is not prophesying doom. It is that the level of emotional attachment they have to ignorance will not allow them rise. They are so attached to ignorance, they dread the discipline of knowledge are we learning koinonia is quiet amen you came to church when i find out you are quiet we'll sing i will get your spirit up and continue what i'm doing amen is someone learning so imagine with me that there are two seats here on stage one seat is for you you are now seated there and the other seat is occupied by a very old ancient man who is talking to you giving you an opportunity to learn this is what is happening to you today 
the name of that man who is seated there is an overcomer whether you call him Jesus whether you call him Paul whether you call him Abraham whether you call him whatever it is there is one name that binds them all they are overcomers and they are letting us into their lives and into their scars and the first lesson that they are teaching us tonight is that ignorance is not a demon it does not respond to sentiments it does not respond to all kinds of prejudices you must be willing and ready to contend for light high level spiritual illumination is what cures darkness from your life here are 10 reasons why people pray Equal connection with the divine. Prayer is a way to connect with a higher power, expressing devotion, reverence, and a desire for a relationship with God or the divine. 2. Seeking guidance. Many people pray to seek wisdom, clarity, and direction in their lives, asking for help in making decisions or understanding difficult situations. 3. Comfort and peace. Prayer can provide comfort during times of distress, offering a sense of peace and reassurance that one is not alone in their struggles. For gratitude, prayer is a way to express thankfulness for the blessings and good things in life, acknowledging the positive aspects of existence. 5. Intercession for others. People often pray for the well-being of others, asking for healing, protection, or blessings for family, friends, or even strangers. 6. Confession and Forgiveness Prayer provides an opportunity for self-reflection, allowing individuals to confess their wrongdoings and seek forgiveness, leading to spiritual cleansing and renewal. 7. Strength and Endurance Through prayer, individuals often seek the strength to endure difficult circumstances, asking for the resilience to face challenges. 8. Worship and Adoration Prayer is an act of worship, where individuals praise and adore the divine, celebrating the greatness and goodness of God. 9. Requesting needs. Many people pray to ask for specific needs, whether material, emotional or spiritual, believing that divine intervention can provide solutions or support. 10. Cultivating a habit of mindfulness. Regular prayer can foster mindfulness, helping individuals remain focused on their spiritual goals and maintain a sense of purpose and direction in life. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follow or your fellow, um, what do I want to say now? Share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others. And share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all. Anybody, human being at all share the love of christ with them and as you do so the lord will bless you the lord will the lord will keep you the lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and uh, what do i want to say again follow us on all of our social media platforms on facebook at believers global tv on the uh, instagram at believers global tv on the uh, tiktok at believers global tv on youtube at believers global tv see you See you, see you later. Bye.